Hi, welcome to Irvine Pets and Company. I'm your host, Kathy Graves. With me to start the show today is Monette, and you have a gorgeous dog with you. Who is this? This is Stella. Okay. Stella, Stella. St shiny black Stella. She's okay. Beautiful. She's a gorgeous dog, and Stella is looking for a home, just like all the animals here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. So please stay with us for the next 30 minutes, and you'll be seeing just a small sampling of all the wonderful pets we have here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. Bob, you have a magic dog here. We absolutely do. This is Castle. Magic and Castle. Magic Castle. Yes. When we came in, Castle's first hairdo was a hairdo from the hood. <laughs> he had a mohawk, he had his hair growing in all sorts of different directions. And now, thanks to our aestheticians here at the Irvine Animal Care Center, he looks gorgeous. He does, he's very handsome. He's really a terrier and he's a puppy. He's maybe nine months old. Oh. And he barks pretty loudly, but he is not rambunctious, so he'll be real easy to train when you bring him home. Great. He gives you puppy pleasure, he gives you puppy energy, he gives you puppy play without puppy hassle. Well, that's wonderful. And he seems to like his toys. Loves his toys. We've had three, each one of the three is an equal opportunity toy. <laughs> He's very picky, so somebody who takes home Castle needs to take home a lot of toys with him, too. At least this one, and <laughs> we'll give it this one free. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's adorable. Somebody looking for an adorable terrier who's almost out of the puppy stage, but still has that puppy cuteness and energy, please come over and see Castle. Craig, who is this majestic looking guy? Uh, this guy, his name is Caesar. Perfect name. Uh, he's a pit bull mix. He's about eight and a half years old. Okay. Uh, he loves to play. He's got a lot of energy All right. for an eight and a half year old uh, guy. Uh, I think he would do well either on the beach and hiking with an owner or just as well sitting on the owner's lap. Great. As long so as the owner has a big lap. And he was unfortunately given up by his owners and oh. due to their circumstances. Okay. So he's looking for a brand new, perfect, permanent home. Which he deserves. Yes. Probably an active, more active owner would be great with him because he's going to need to get out and burn off that energy. That's what I was saying, yes. Yeah. And because of his breeds, he's strong, so maybe a dog experienced owner would be the perfect match for him. It would be. Uh, but you know, he knows commands. Great. Because he, he was owned before. Uh huh. Uh, he knows how to sit, he likes his treats. So he's ready to go. Yeah, so somebody look. Looking for a little self-sufficient package, and if you have an active lifestyle, Caesar would be the perfect dog for you. Monette, this is another great dog, but I understand he's fairly young. He's only eight months old. Wow. Yeah, he's very, very, um, he's really loving and really intelligent. Uh -huh. And I know that, I mean, I would take him home myself if I could, but I have a, a girl dog and she's kind of feisty. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, I think I could see him with a nice family, not small children, no. but teenagers and joggers, people, active people. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. Yeah. He's, such a, he's a gentle creature at soul, at heart. And what's his name? This is this is Jackson. Okay. He was originally called Vigo, but we recently changed his name to Jackson, so we call him Jackson Vigo sometimes. Jack there we Vigo go. being his last name. <laughs> And yeah. this is uh, probably another dog that needs to be a dog experience person to yeah. work off that energy and, and do obedience training with him, although he seems to take to that very quickly. Absolutely, absolutely. An experienced dog person or maybe a single person um, who's really committed to training. 
That would be perfect. They could learn together. Exactly. Exactly. He's a great dog. He's really a sweetheart. Well, he's a fantastic dog, and if you're looking for a puppy which I, who's very energetic but very eager to learn, this is Jackson. Cindy, you have a real bundle of energy here in a very small package. I do. He's uh, This is a one-year-old Chewini. His name is Spock. We seem to have some uh, dogs being named after Star Wars series. Spock's kind of a cute name for this little Chewini. But one, he's very energetic, but also really playful, loving, sweet. Just um, he did, He's one of our third chance dogs. Okay, great. So he, just, he hasn't been here very long. And I don't imagine that he'll be here very long because good age, he's... He's fully grown, walks really well on a leash for his age, really um, okay. really nice, um, just a perfect size for, um, for anyone, I think. So I, I'm, uh, I, I'm expecting him to go home very, very quickly. Well, then somebody who wants him better get down here. Now, this is Spot before his ears went up. That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's right, that's right. I don't know about the floppy ears and Spock, but he sure is cute, and he has a bundle of energy. Somebody that gets him, we need lots of toys, for him to play with because he certainly does love them. He loves toys. <laughs> well, somebody looking Good for, uh, if you're out there point. looking for a great bundle of energy in a very small package with these great ears, this is Spock. Mary Lou, you have a mighty big dog, well, in his mind anyway, sitting in your lap. Who is this? Uh, this is uh, Godzilla. Aha, uh -huh, I can tell. <laughs> you can't say we don't have a sense of humor here. That's right. Unless he named himself. Uh, this is a little 18-month-old uh, Chihuahua mix, and he is a sweet little guy. He's very affectionate. Uh, yes, walks beautifully on a leash. You know, if he gets ahead, you know, he's lightweight. If he gets a little ahead, you know, just a little pull on the leash, and he's right back with you. And I can tell that he's a real lap sitter too, so he'd be great when you're sitting and reading, watching TV, he'd be there right on your lap. That's right. He's, um, yeah, he goes, he's good with those kisses when he gets to know you, and he is very good. He's very good about being quiet, calm. So far, we haven't noticed that he reacts to other dogs, so, uh, you know, that's always good with a, uh, a little guy like this. Well, he's adorable. We have lots of cute little dogs, lots of big dogs, too. And if you're looking for a great little guy, this is Godzilla. Well, Bob, what a little bit of fluff you have. <laughs> this is Maddie, and Maddie is queen of the playful pups. Uh-huh. Um, she's a terrier. She's very young. Something on her cage said that she'd be best with children over five. Okay. And I could see why when I brought her over, because when we brought her homework papers over, she ate them. So oh. she is the perfect, <laughs> the dog ate my homework excuse for any teenager. There's, there's a lot of kids that are going to want this dog then. Oh boy, not even have to be trained to do it either. She's no. got it as a natural instinct. <laughs> She's a great little dog, uh, another terrier with lots and lots of energy. Lots of energy, very playful, very kind, will sit and kiss you. Um, another one that within a couple of months of just being at home, you'll never know why you didn't have her from when she was born. Oh, absolutely. And that fur is just sort of that carefree fur that she has. Washes easily. Gets oh. a good permanent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, that just sort of uh, never grew out. Exactly. Well, she's an adorable little girl, so another great little dog. <laughs> and if you're looking for energy, we have lots of energy in our dogs today. She'd be great, although probably not with children uh, under five, just because of her energy level. Well, but she's, she's a, a great baby and she'll last you a lifetime. That's right, this is Maddie. Frank, you have a dog here with a mix that we don't get very often. That's true. Uh, this little guy, his name is Tauber. He's about... Uh, three years old, uh -huh. and he's a red fox terrier wire-haired mix. There you go. Very good. <laughs> yes, he's got all of that in there. <laughs> like you said, we don't get these kind too often. No, but he's adorable. Yeah. Uh, now, he's calmer than some of the smaller dogs that we have. He seems to have yes, worked out uh, that uh, puppy uh, thing. He, he seems to be very calm. Now, he's, he's a third chance dog that we have here. So oh, he great. came from another shelter. Uh-huh. Uh, and he's hoping to get a better chance at being adopted here. And I think he yeah. will. He looks like he would fit into just about any environment, from a single person to somebody with, the, with children. Right, even in a small apartment. He's, he's a perfect lap dog. He is. Yeah. 
Oh, he's going to need his walk, no. but he's not going to need that energy burned off like That's some of the true. other dogs. So he's really a sweet little guy. He's an adorable face and he has little eyebrows. So if you're looking for a great little dog, a quieter dog than uh, some other dogs are, he is Tonner. Tonner, Tauber. However. However you want to pronounce it. <laughs> For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. She's just as happy as can be. She's my sweet little angel. She's my D.O.G. What are you doing here? You're John McEnroe. Here to get my dog neutered. I would never do that to my dog. You cannot be serious. Neutering is good for his temper. And it's the most important thing you can do for homeless animals. Did you know that shelters have to kill more than four million animals every year just because there's not enough good homes out there? I can't have that on my conscience. Can you? I was uh, actually talking about the outfit. What, you don't like it? It's ostentatious. Sorry. <laughs> This is just a great old cat. Well, he's not all that old, actually. He's only a couple years old. This uh -huh. is Charlie. Oh. He is our sweetest, gentlest little bub. Like, he's so wonderful. He's a little bit scared, yeah. is the only thing. So he does like to be in his bed. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. He still likes you to love him while he's in his bed. That's right. And once he gets into a home, I think he's three or four years old. And so he's been in a home, and they come into this uh, atmosphere and that's a great shelter but they're kind of scared yeah. they don't know why they're here yeah it's very confusing for them yeah but I think Charlie would set in with a new home very quickly <laughs> I think so too I think within a couple days he'd be the king of the house yes he would but he is he's a great cat he loves to sit in your lap he still plays because he's still fairly young and I think he would just sort of make your house his yeah he's an adorable little guy if you're looking for just a great cat, he's beautiful, all black, has this really, really nice fur. He's just adorable. What a cute little guy. This is Charlie. We have two brothers here. Who do you have? I have Ziggy. Uh-huh. And you have Iggy. I do. And they're, one of them's a little longer haired. This one's longer haired and with uh -huh. a nice bushy tail. Uh-huh. They're both a bit shy. They were yeah. both strays and they came in together and they are, you know, wiggly and shy and they want to go away and hide for about 10 minutes and then they come out and play with you endlessly. They do. Lots of energy. Not much willingness to sit still on laps. <laughs> That's true. Well, they're adorable little brothers and I think they've been overlooked here at the shelter because they are rather shy and they'll yeah. sit in the back of their kennel. Uh, we took them to an off-site at a, a pet supply store a few weeks ago. They did well. They weren't scared scared, but they preferred to stay in the back of their kennel just because they are rather shy. But they're sweet as can be. I think we'd love to see them go home together. Mm -hmm. Yes, we would. And they will do well put together, I think. They will entertain each other. Right. Well, if you're looking for a great pair of little boys, this is Iggy and Ziggy. Erica, you have a teeny tiny little girl here, although she's a year or so old. This is Maud uh -huh. from like Harold and Maud. Okay. Not from Maud Simpson on The Simpsons. Okay. <laughs> Just so everyone's clear. She's a lovely little girl, but she's very spastic, as you can see. She's about to bolt. <laughs> Got lots of energy. She's going to need to play a lot. Yeah, she's still young. And when she gets out in our Get Acquainted room, she loves to play. So although she's a year old, she still has a lot of kitten energy yes. in her. Yes, for sure. So, you know, don't be afraid of adopting a one-year-old cat if you're looking for a kitten. You'll still get a kitten. Absolutely. And what's great about cats that are a year or older, you know what their personality is. We love kittens and they're adorable, but you don't know what you're getting, really. No, don't. They form their own personalities and... Uh, they just uh, are going to be what they want to be. But with Maude, you know what you're getting. She's sweet, she's adorable, she's beautiful, and she's playful. Deb, this is a beautiful guy. Who is Isn't this? Isn't he? His name is Tiger. Uh-huh. He's in our kitty clubhouse, isn't he? Yes, yes. He's very social, gets along well with other kitties. Um, 
He's declawed on his front claws, yeah. unfortunately. And we discourage that. It's an awful thing to do to a cat. It, it is. really is if you learn about the surgery that happens. Yeah, it's very debilitating. It is, it is. But he's kind of the sentry now at the at the gate. He will meet you at the gate to Kitty Clubhouse. He's sort of taken that over from one of the other oh, cats. Oh, good boy. But somebody, <laughs> somebody already has a cat that would probably, he'd be a good mate with them. Uh, he'd be a, a good cat because we know he's already lived with cats too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's fairly gentle. He just, he needs to check out the room. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more than others, but otherwise he's a very mellow, sweet kitty. Well, he's just an adorable cat. He's still fairly young. Mm -hmm. He's a beautiful cat. So if you're looking for a cat energetic, that would be Tiger. Well, this is a wonderful cat. <laughs> She's saying hi. Yes. She's so this. Is. This is Wicket. Uh huh. She's about two years old. Okay. Um, she's just a really sweet, friendly girl. She's just that classic uh, tabby coloring. Mm -hmm. Almost a brown tabby mm -hmm. yeah. with some of that coloring in there. Yep, she's just purring away and she's got a great meow. Does she? Yeah. She'd be a great conversationalist, wouldn't she? She would be. <laughs> when you come home at night, you don't just have a monologue, you have a dialogue with her. Exactly. <laughs> she likes to be talked to. Oh, does yeah. she? She'd be great company. Yeah. And she's still very young. Mm -hmm. We haven't talked about, I don't think today, cats can live to be 15 or 20 years old. Yeah. So yeah. when you come to adopt a kitty, you have to know that it's a really long commitment. Sure, yes. So, yes, I was talking yesterday to a family and some uh, young sons that were probably about 10 or so, and I said, this kitty will mm -hmm. still be with you after you've gone and, and you're already out right. of college. Right, right. So if you think of that. <laughs> but Wick is just an adorable little girl. She has this beautiful coloring. Yes. Probably just about any home would be mm -hmm. perfect for her. She's a good girl. Well, we have a little princess named after, I guess, one of the Game of Thrones characters, and I'm not sure how you say it, Daenerys? Daenerys. Okay. She's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, I guess they call her a muted tortie. Yeah, or diluted tortie uh -huh. is what we have written on the paperwork. Okay. She's very young, so she has a lot of kitten left in her. Okay. Playful little girl. Uh -huh. um, she did have kittens. So oh, she did? Yeah. So she was a, a young mom. Uh-huh. She was a young mom, so when they have kittens that young, they don't really have a chance to be a kitten. So no. that's what she wants to be now, but she's purring like crazy. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. She's a beautiful girl. I understand she doesn't like to be picked up, but a lot of cats don't like being picked no. up. No, people tend to not like support their spine. They just want to pick it up like a child, so uh -huh. no cats are kind of protective of their spines. Well, that's um, good to know because some people don't know how to pick up cats or kittens and that kind of freaks Ooh. them out. But she's a beautiful, beautiful little girl. Look at her beautiful, beautiful This is Daenerys? This is Daenerys. Oh, I don't say it. I know. You have a beautiful little boy with you. Who is I this? Do. This is Blade. Uh -huh. He's about four months old. Okay. And um, just a very sweet kitten. He's a special kitty too. He is. He um, he has FELB. Mm -hmm. um, and as a kitten, you know, it, they can test positive, but we keep testing here okay. in the hopes that um, that will change. Right. Now, FELB is feline leukemia. That doesn't mean he has it. It just means that he carries, I believe it's called a titer for leukemia. But he can still live a very long life. He can go on to be 16 mm -hmm. or 18 mm -hmm. years old. Yeah. So he's just such a sweetheart. He loves to be held, loves to be held. Well, he's a really sweet, sweet kitty. And we'll tell you here about these kitties and how special they are and give you counseling on it with veterinary science advancing every year. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really not a problem. It'd probably be best so if he's an only kitty. Right. Or unless you have another FELV positive kitty. Right. So if you have it in your heart, you're gonna get just a super, super cat. This is Blaine. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Just Center or call our office. A kitten with big green eyes and snow white paws. I know for certain she'll be climbing my curtain, leaving her hairballs on the floor. But I like cats. Hello, I'm Jane Lynch. And the good folks at PETA asked me to say a few words about the importance of good posture and personal hygiene. But I don't want to talk about that. 
I want to talk about the four million cats and dogs who are euthanized every year because there aren't enough homes for all of them. Now that number would be a lot lower if everyone would have their animals spayed and neutered. So let's all do that, okay? Spay and neuter your cats and dogs. Thanks. Oh, and it probably wouldn't kill you to stand up straight and slap on a little deodorant. Mwah. Well, we uh, bring Marie back out in front of the camera again. You're usually in the back of the camera. Yes, yes. Yes. Our bunny volunteers are off doing exotic things today. Okay, so you're doing bunnies today. <laughs> and who is this? Well, this is little Hippity. Hippity? And I guess because she hippity hoppities all over the place. Yes, She's she does. She's a very does. bouncy bunny. Isn't she adorable? Look at this she, coloration. She's gorgeous. If she's a cat, she would be a Siamese. I know, that's what I was thinking too, Kathy. And she's just so soft. I could just sit and pet bunnies all day long. Yeah. I mean, this is just incredible to fill her fur. It is great for lowering your blood pressure too. Oh, absolutely. And, and the fun thing about bunnies is if you have them as real pets, don't just put them in a, in a cage. No. They are affectionate and playful and fun and intelligent and they blossom. So if you adopt a bunny, make it part of the family. Absolutely. Don't just put it out in a hutch, it's horrible. Oh, it is, it is. They need to be inside with you, just like all your other animals. Right, and wouldn't you just want to spend all of your time just doing this? Absolutely. <laughs> when you come home at night from a hard day, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're looking for a really cute little bunny, this is Hippity. She's a dwarf with this great little dewlap. We have another adorable rabbit. I understand this is also a dwarf. Well, I think they're all mixes of some okay. kind, but you can definitely see the dwarf in their little ears. Mm -hmm. And look at this cute little racing stripe. Oh, great this face. This is Davy, and he is just so adorable. We have some in a, an amazing assortment of colors in our bunnies right now. Great. A lot of times we just have black bunnies or white bunnies. Mm -hmm. Right now, like the last one and this one, I mean, look at this little spot here. It's in all the ticking with a little bit of black and tan and brown and these cute little paws. <laughs> oh, I love these paws. <laughs> oh, he's got great coloring. Is this a younger rabbit, we think? Well, actually, this little bunny is over a year old. Oh, okay. And very sad story. The owners gave him up oh. because they were moving, which, honestly, I don't know how anyone can give up a pet just because they're moving. I mean, where do you go where you can't take something like this? Especially a rabbit. I know sometimes people's circumstances change, but uh -huh. I know a lot of us here have moved all over the country and we've always taken our pets That's with right. us. That's right. When you adopt a pet, it's a lifetime commitment. It's not until you get tired of it or it becomes a little inconvenient. You made a promise when you took a pet into your family to love it and care for it for its whole life. So if you adopt the little Davy, I hope that you will keep that in mind. Absolutely, and he's just a beautiful little rabbit. So he'd probably be a great addition to your family. Well, we have a very aptly named rabbit for the season. Yes, it's Pumpkin. Pumpkin, I love that. Perfect for the fall. Pumpkin's a little girl. Mm -hmm. She's a Holland Lop, so she's got this nice little oh, dewlap here I to love help her that. stay warm in the cold weather <laughs> that is supposed to come eventually. Maybe someday. <laughs> And as you can see, she has a little bit of a boo-boo around her eye oh. here. Um, it is being treated. Okay. And if you adopt Pumpkin, you're going to get some special counseling on how to continue care once you get her home. But she'll be fine. It's not going to affect her companionship. And no. she's going to be a bouncy, playful, fun little companion animal. And that's what's great. We do have an on-site vet clinic. We have uh, two vets and we have several vet techs that take very good care of our animals. So you know their exact uh, health condition when you get them, although they're, exactly. they're pretty healthy. We have, every once in a while we'll have a boo-boo or maybe upper respiratory, but we mm -hmm. tell people adopting how to take care of it. It's very temporary. Exactly. Yeah. Well, if you're looking for a great rabbit in this time of year, who wouldn't want a pumpkin? For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office.
gorgeous rabbit maroon. Oh, yes. Isn't she beautiful? This is little Peach, and she's got this beautiful hair. And oh. I think she's part Angora. She looks like it. Yeah, she's just adorable. She is a beautiful rabbit, just like all the animals here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. She's looking for a great home. So we hope to see you here at the Irvine Animal Care Center and next time on Irvine Pets and Company. Don't forget, spay or neuter your pet.